What's up, you guys? Can you guess where I'm at today? That was a beep of a car. Hi! Alright, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually at my favorite store. I'm at Target. I don't know if you can see it. I'm in the car. I'm in the car. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm actually going to be testing out Target's worst makeup products like worst reviewed makeup products so that's what I was trying to say but anyways anyways <laughs> all right so like what I said for this video I'm gonna be doing like a full face makeup using Target's worst reviewed makeup products I'm kind of scared actually but let's give it a try I'm gonna be taking guys with me to Target and then we're gonna be doing a full face makeup let's go for it all right you guys so these are like the products that I'm getting. I feel so bad because I actually like some of these products, well the brand. And I kind of don't want to do a review, but I have to, you know? Look at all that product. Dang. I'm wasting my money, but I'm giving these away if they're good. If they're good, I'm giving it away. Okay. So anyways, I went crazy at Target. Not crazy, but yeah, crazy actually. Also, keep in mind, you guys, I did not spend $160 on the worst makeup ever. <laughs> I spent that much, like, oh my god, look at all this. I spent that much because I also have clients this coming Saturday, and I need to kind of like buy makeup for my clients, make sure that they have everything they need, when it comes to sponges, whatever they need. I got this for, you know, I did it because it's for my clients. I'm getting paid, duh, so. I'm really excited, so I'm gonna head home now. I'm gonna try these products, take my face makeup off, and then let's get to it, man. All right, you guys, let's get started on these Target makeup products and see how bad or how good they are. I mean, honestly, everybody has their own opinions, so. Some of these products might work for me, some of them might not, some of them might work for you. Who knows, you know, like, I'm just gonna try and see if it's actually a bad review. And some of these actually have like one star, one or two stars. And I'm scared, I hope I don't break out. <laughs> Alright you guys, the first product I'm gonna be showing you guys is the R Rimmel London Sourceless Eyebrows. I mean, so it looks like this. Can't even see it. Just like that. And it's an eyebrow pencil. So I'm not a fan of eyebrow pencils, but let's try it out. I got, what shade did I get? I'm dark brown, why did I get dark brown? But on top of that, I'm gonna be using, the, to clean it up, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer in the shade Medium. And it's this product right here. I'm scared to try both, but. Let's get to it. Let's see how this product actually has like a little brush right there. And it's a pencil. I'm scared. Alright, so I'm gonna be using the brush to kind of just clean that up a little bit. It hurts my ow. <laughs> that hurts. It's not that bad. Well, so far. Let's see how good it blends. I don't want to have like sharpie eyebrows. This brush isn't doing anything. I mean, it's not bad, but the brush isn't doing anything. It hurts me. <laughs> And it's literally spreading everywhere. I feel like, unlike the eyebrow product that I use, the pomade doesn't spread anywhere. Like, it just sticks to your eyebrows compared to this one. Like, watch. If I brush it, you could see that line right there. Let's just, let's just keep going and see what happens. Stressing me out. My 
eyebrows look horrible. Oh my god. Why did I do this challenge? This left one looks fine. This one looks like I really like, drew that in. <laughs> I look mad. I look so mad, like. Alright, so I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer, and this is what it looks like. Let's see how it looks. It's so tiny. Alright, let's clean up my brows. It feels like water on my skin. Holy crap. Maybe that's why I got in the room. Just kidding. Alright, so far I'm testing it on this, oh, this, on this eyebrows, it feels like water, I don't know, like, it didn't even do any coverage, it just, I know it cleaned it up, but it doesn't have any coverage, now I don't know how that's gonna look when I put on my, on my under eye, I'm super scared. Okay, so like I mentioned, this feels like water and it's super cold. I mean, I didn't put it in the freezer. <laughs> but cleaning it up was easy, but it literally felt like water on my skin. I don't know. It doesn't even look like it has any coverage because I can still see things on my brows. Now we're gonna go with the eyes. So I totally forgot to get an eye primer. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but I'm going to be using this, the concealer as an eye primer. Wish me luck, because like I said, it does not have any coverage, so my eyes will have nothing. Eyeshadows we're going to be using today is the e.l.f. Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow, so this is what it looks like. And the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. So this one right here. I wanted to go for like a nude eye color just because I didn't want to buy anything colorful and make myself look like a clown and I know after this video I'm gonna look like one so yeah I cannot get this out of the box yeah let's just rip it the packaging is very cute though but I just it was like $3.99 the thing came off oh my god <laughs> So I'm putting it back. I put it back, guys. It's no longer cheap. So this um, Wet n Wild product actually has... I don't know if you can see that. Oh my god. You can't see it. So but on each shadow, it says crease, brow bone, transition, and eyelid. So it gives you, like... It tells you what to do. Like, I'm gonna follow it. Mm -hmm. so this has more, like, shimmery shades. Fell out again, guys. So like I said, I'm starting off with the concealer as my base. If it blends. Now, some of them don't, some of them do. Let's see how this one blends. I don't feel anything on my eyes. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but do I have anything more black? I'm like scared, bro. I'm like thinking I have any, everything. Like every eyeshadow on me right now. I didn't get like cheap makeup brushes, but so I'm just gonna use my regular ones. I'm gonna start off with the Elf. I'm gonna use this shade right here. Let's see. It's very powdery. Wow. It has a lot of fallout. Sure. It has a lot of fallouts. Alright, so I zoomed you guys in just so you can see how good this eyeshadow is. But so far, 
you can see that it has a lot of fallout and it's very powdery. Watch. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna put this all over my crease and see if it does any difference, you know? So, so far, I mean, it's blending really nice to my eyelids, but like, I mean, I, it's my fault I picked like a really plain color, like all that powdery. And this transferring to the other side. Oh my god. And there's a lot left on my brush. Like, seriously, where am I getting all these? So the next shade, I'm gonna go in the Wet n Wild color. You know what, I think I'm just gonna go with this. I'm gonna do a glitter like in the inner corner. Let's see how that looks. I'm kinda scared. So with this product, it leaves chunks. I don't know if you can see that. It leaves chunks. This was like a, I think a dollar or two dollars. I really don't see anything. There is nothing on my lids. It is literally, it's leaving chunks on my lids. I'll try my pinky and see if I can get more pigment from there. Cause sometimes the brushes don't do well. I mean, it's something, you see some glitter. This was 2 dollars I think, or a dollar. I don't really remember, but all I know is it sucks. Right, next, we're gonna be using this darker shade. Oh my god, I don't know why I'm pointing that way. This darker shade right here, oh my god, right here. <laughs> what the heck? I swear my brush is not wet. And look what happened. There's like a dark spot right there. <sighs> Alright, we're just gonna go very... pigment is there if it's gonna blend well that's like the only problem oh let's see if it blends it sucks oh my god do you see that there's like lines underneath This is really shitty. So these products suck ass. Doesn't even have a lip thingy no more. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna try one more time. You know, this is supposed to be the photo grab one. I already did it on this eye. Might as well do it on the other eye. That was one of the worst products ever. Look at my eyes. They're... I just can't. I don't like it. Alright, now we're gonna go with the face. I'm gonna do eyeliner later, but I wanna first go do something with my face because this looks horrible. Maybe we can make it up with foundation and concealer. Who knows? So the beauty blender I'm gonna be using is the e.l.f. blending sponge, which is like this one. This was like $2, I think. And the foundation I'm gonna be using is the CoverGirl Clean Matte. Okay, so I got the warm beige. Let's hope that it's my skin tone. It looks like a little bit yellow, who knows? 
And for the concealer, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl, like what I used earlier, the Clean Invisible, in medium, and let's see how it looks on me. All right, so I already dabbed my Beauty Blender, and I feel like the foundation is just gonna see through this, and it's not gonna stay on my face. But you know, let's not judge, let's just check it out. <gasps> I totally forgot to use primer. Oh my god. No! Holy crap, why didn't I think about that? Alright, so for primer, um, the product I'm going to be using is the Master Primer by Face Studio um, Maybelline. And the one I got is a blur and it's supposed to blur and smooth my skin. It has this little packaging right here. Let's try it out. It's all white. Oh my god. It feels fresh just because I used that. Let's see if it actually blurs my pores. So it feels dewy instead of matte. I don't know. I'll put a little bit more and see. Not blurring my pores. <laughs> I know that for sure. Alright. Now we're gonna do foundation. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna use whatever product I have on my face right now. So this product is oil-free, unscented, won't clog pores, suitable for sensitive skin. Well, why do I feel a burning on my skin? <laughs> Just kidding. Is there like nothing coming out? Oh shit. It all came as a clump. Did it expire? I'm just confused. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna use that much. Whatever. We'll do a full coverage look today. So this product just sucks in general. Like, it's supposed to be just clean matte. I look very oily. Oh my god. And I don't know what, but I don't know why. But my top lip started burning when I tried this. When I put it on like right here, it just started burning. I'm scared. All right, up next is the concealer using the CoverGirl um, Clean Invisible. The one that doesn't have anything because it's really invisible. It's like tan or super light right here and then it's giving me like a gray. You know, I didn't want to believe it. But these products kind of suck. I'm just gonna add a second layer to see if it actually covers anything. Because clearly the first one didn't. It's really invisible. Just like the name. Nope, I still see my wrinkles. <laughs> I still see my eye bags. I'm just gonna set my face and see if there's any hope for that because this foundation and concealer just sucks in general like honestly from my eyebrows to my eyes to my foundation to my concealer I'm pissed I was hoping at least one of these products are like good because I don't always believe the reviews online but I wanted to try it and now here I am I believe it so for the setting powder we're going to be using the elf hd powder which is this product right here and it's supposed to be sheer high definition loose powder creates soft focus effect on the skin helps mask fine lines and imperfections for a radiant looking complexion let's see about that all right so i'm gonna be using this beauty blender for to set my eyes i kind of don't like the way this oh shit 
So it looks like this. Let's see if it does anything. You know what? I'm gonna try my Laura Mercier proof. Oh, it's getting everywhere. And see if that works. It works a little bit. Let's see if it'll do in this one, but let me set it first. This product really sucks. It smells funny. Like baby powder, but not baby powder. Like the texture is like a baby powder. I really feel like a burning sensation on my face, like, and I don't like it. I'm gonna rush this makeup just so I can wash it off because I feel like it's a foundation. Disgusting. Like, look how good this one kind of looks. You can see a pigment in this one, you can't just see shit. Like, this is how bad the eyeshadow was. I don't like it because you can still see my bags, and the fact that. It has, you can see my lines right there, my wrinkles and shit, like, I don't know if you can see that, but I don't like it. No way in it. Alright you guys, up next is the bronzer, and the product that I got was the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer, bronzer. <laughs> but this was one of the, I mean all of these products are like shitty, and we're gonna see how shitty this one is. If I can get the tape out of this. Alright, so I'm gonna be using my ColourPop um, bronzer brush, whatever you call that. Contour brush. Ha. And so this, I didn't notice that it has a little shimmer to it, but it's a bronzer, so I wonder how that's gonna look. No fallouts. Wait. Not bad. Okay, let's try it out. Oh no. It's giving me shine. Like, do you see that? This is not even a bronzer. It says bronzer. I'm so confused. Oh my god, these products are playing me right now. I really thought it was a bronzer too. I didn't see any, like, shine to it when I picked it up. Bro, I don't know if you see that. I give up on this. Whatever. Done. Alright. Let's hope this is at least somewhat good. We're gonna be using Revlon Blush in the shade Rosy. And I've never tried Revlon products. Well, besides the one. Oh, actually, no, I haven't tried any Revlon products. Let's see how this one looks. So it has a tiny little brush. For this tiny little blush. That rhymes. I'm a rapper. Ayy. Alright, so now let's try and hope this is actually a blush. Not like this. That looks like a damn highlight. I feel like this has more. Oh my god, this is so ugly. You know what? These products frustrate me. Like, it's giving me like a matte, like, cheeks, but I don't see any blush. Like, am I rosy? No, I don't have rosy cheeks. This is so annoying. I'm gonna go for the nose contour, but I didn't pick up anything, but I we all know this shit sucks. So I'm gonna be using, technically, is the e.l.f. and see how this one works to my nose contour. Wow, it's giving me a really harsh lines right now. Well, maybe it's on my brush, but... Let's try blending it. It's not blending. Oh my god. It's really not blending. Alright, so that wouldn't blend. Not really. I can still see like the harsh lines right there. I'm just gonna go with it, I'm gonna move on. 
with the next product. Hopefully it's good. I said that with blush, but it didn't work out. So let's try again. That's what I'm gonna be using is for my uh, eyeliner. I I couldn't find any products online that was really bad reviews for eyeliner, except for like these ones right here, the Maybelline ones. I swear, when I was like in high school, I really thought these were good. But I haven't used it in a long time, so let's see if it sucks. Because I remember using one, and I know it was good, but I was in high school, and I didn't know how to do makeup. So maybe that's why I thought it was good. Ta -da! So there's this product right here, and I can just take that one out. Oh, and they adjust this too. Adjust this. Adjust. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on my top lid. At least do me some justice, you know, in the eyes. So what I'm noticing about this product is when I try to go in my inner corner, it doesn't want to like draw. Like it doesn't want to have. Like it doesn't want to do anything to it. Like I can't get anything to my. Oh my god! Now there she is. But it's like a little messy and like it looks really ugly in the inner corner. But if we put it out on the outer corner, it has more pigment there. I'm stuck like this. It didn't do well on my top lids. It looked really ugly. I should have thought about that, you know? I'll try to do it on my under eye and see if it works. I look like a bad bitch. I look evil. I really look evil. Okay, this looks really ugly. And I don't like the way it looks. Ah! Well, usually when I put eyeliner on the bottom, it'll be fine. It blends really well. This one doesn't blend at all. And I don't know what happened to my eyeshadow here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's turning gray. And this one's like... Still looking cute, but this one is just like everywhere. I'm so done. I just want to wash my face. <laughs> right, we're almost done, you guys. So the next part I'm gonna be using is the Wet and Wild mascara. So this sounds like the worst review ever. And I wanna check it out. Why? It was a dollar ninety nine at Target. Super cheap. I wonder why. I wonder why all of these were super cheap. Like the foundation was $5.99. Because, you know, it started burning my face. Can you explain that cover, girl? <laughs> this product initially said dramatic fuller lashes. And it thickens and it's smudge proof. Oh no. Let's see. It's not bad, but. Let's check it out and see if it gives me that, um, I need my lashes to be, dude, what? I really don't have, like, I have, I know damn well I have lashes. This does not have anything on it and it says mega volume. Mega Volume Mascara. Why are you lying, my wild? So, this mascara sucks. I do not like that. It does not give me a mega volume on my lashes. All right, now we're gonna do highlighter. And uh, I'm surprised this product made it to one of the worst makeup from Target, like drugstore makeup. And it's the NYX um, Away We Glow. Usually NYX has pretty good products. I mean, I like some of their eyeshadows and their um, primers. I used to wear their primers, but not anymore. But they usually have really good products. I'm surprised it made it to the bad list. Okay. All right, so it's supposed to give me a highlight, okay? Let's hope not a bronze, not a highlight. Shimmer Thrill. We're gonna use this light. I'm gonna use the same blush brush that I had on my Revlon just because it didn't give me any 
pigment on my cheeks, so I might as well just use it for my cheeks. We're using the highlight. Let's see if that works. There's pigment. Let's try it. Let's mix these two colors. There's pigment, but it's not like blinding. A lot of people usually like those highlighters, so it, it just one swipe's like, whoa, you know. Whoa. That one. But not, not with this product. I don't see any wow effect. Like, it's whatever. It's like, I wouldn't be surprised that this is on the worst product list. I really, really love NYX products. I love their products. But for some reason, this highlighter, like, didn't do anything for me. It really didn't. Like, I don't, I put it on my nose. There's some pigment right there, at least, because I layered it up. So, I layered it up so many times. I'm just so oily, and I don't like the feeling. Like I can feel myself having like foundation on my face, and with every foundation that I buy, it's not usually like that. With this product, this product right here has that, and I don't like it. All right, so the last step is gonna be the setting spray, and the one I got is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish. So it's this product right here. I can't even see. Whatever, you can't see it. This one. Yep, that one. Um, I think this was like three bucks. Let's see. It's so. It's the packaging is super cute though. Like, I don't understand the ruler though. <laughs> I just don't understand this part. Like, it looks funny, but. All that part, just to be surprised with the shitty, not shitty packaging. It's really cute. Okay, it's supposed to be an all-day wear setting spray. Okay, let's try it out. Mm. Um, it has like a weird scent to it. Huh, let me spray it on something. Oh my god, I swear. What the fuck? It has like a weird scent to it. I don't know what it is, but I don't like setting sprays that have scent because it hurts. My nose is very sensitive and I don't like that. Oh my god, disgusting. So it's supposed to be like a matte finish and I've waited a minute and I don't know if you can see it's really bad on my camera but on my mirror it has like where I sprayed it at it has like watermarks and dots on my face and it's not even matte like I feel really oily and I feel like I just sprayed water on my face that's about it it's cruelty free yay all right, you guys, so I'm done with my makeup. And yes, they were all horrible. And yeah, I do believe on the reviews that I saw on Target website. These freaking products suck. Like this beauty blender, I mean, it's okay. It's not that bad, but overall everything was just like, like I feel sticky, I feel oily. Nothing blended well. You can't see anything on my face. You can't see a bronzer. You can't see the blush. You can't see the highlighter. I mean, okay, this NYX actually gave me some glow, which is fine. It's just not that much that I really want. I know when I put on highlighters, I want to go like, wow, it's so pretty. It's so like blinding. This one really isn't. You have to keep packing on top of it. But overall, like other products that I use, like were shitty. This was shitty. They're all pow like everything has powder on it just because these these were too much. They had too much fallouts on them. This was super shitty. Shitty number two. I mean the Maybelline was okay. Oh my god. 
I don't really know, like honestly, like I felt like I was pointing this way. I felt like this product was okay, but it didn't blur out my pores. It felt like more like a silky primer on my face, which was okay, it felt good, but it didn't cover any of my pores, okay? It didn't blur any of that. So none of the products that I just used, I approve. I do not like them, except for NYX. NYX was this product. Oh my god, look! Where am I getting these? I'm so confused. Holy crap. They're like on the table. Whatever, you know what? Okay, you guys, I'm done with the makeup, so keep on watching on my next videos. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you want to see next. And yeah, if you want to see a better, better makeup look next time, just keep on watching. Keep subscribing and hit that bell button down below. Right there. Bye, guys.